Hello everyone, it's the EV Geek here. And recently, Car and Driver released their best EV home chargers for 2022. Before buying any EV, you need to consider how you will charge at home since at-home charging is more convenient and about a third cheaper than DC fast charging. Today, we will look at three chargers recommended by Car and Driver and the pros and cons about each one. When considering a home charger, there are certain things you need to consider. First, the output of your household circuit that your charger will be connected to. Next, the actual output of the EV charging equipment that you choose. And finally, the rate of charging that your vehicle can handle. All EVs handle different charging rates, which play a part in determining how fast your vehicle charges. Car and Driver reviewed five different charging options for homes that ranged on price from $300 to $1,300. These five chargers are compatible with all EVs that are on the road today. Of course, when the price goes up, so does the features, such as Wi-Fi connectivities, which allows you to monitor charging and receive notifications to your phone. Most of the chargers that were reviewed can be hardwired or plugged in, as well as have varying different output options and cord lengths. Car and Driver rated the Juice Box 40 as the best overall EV charger, which retails for around $700. This charger does come equipped with Wi-Fi capability and allows for remote monitoring. This charger also offers different output capabilities from 40 to 6 amps. This charger also offers an extremely long cord length of 25 feet with a built-in cord management, so you won't have to worry about cords stretching across your garage. This charger, as reviewed, seems to be the cream of the crop and compares remarkably well to the Tesla wall connector. The Wi-Fi settings can be easily customized to take advantage of off-peak charging pricing if your electric company provides that as an option. One of the cons of this charger is the price of $700 and it does not allow users to track electricity costs. If you're like me and looking for an EV charger on a budget, Car and Driver recommends Electron 32 amp, which retails for around $299. There's also a 40 amp option available for around $350. This charger utilizes a NEMA 1450 outlet. One of the nice aspects about this charger is the price of around $300 which offers output capabilities from 32 amps to 10 amps. It also offers a long cord length of 21 feet, but does not have a built-in cord management system. There is no Wi-Fi capability with this charger, but it does offer a small LCD screen that displays voltage amps, charge time, energy, as well as temperature. There is also no included instructions or mounting for this charger, so you'll need to look at purchasing a small hook or hose reel at installation. If you are a tech geek and like the ability to track chargers capabilities through an app, then I would suggest utilizing a Wi-Fi enabled charger for your home. Car and Driver also recommends the HomeFlex EV charger from ChargePoint. This run is quite expensive at around $800. This charger offers output capability from 50 to 16 amps and has a cord length of 23 feet with built-in cord management. One of the coolest aspects of this charger is that it is part of the ChargePoint network, which allows users to use the same app that it utilizes for its ChargePoint public chargers. I personally like the ease of the ChargePoint app that is used for its public chargers. The app allows you to add specific vehicles and adjust the charge rate percentage and set charge times for your home EV charger. This charger is one of the most expensive on the market and according to Car and Driver, has a database that does not quite live up to the hype of that of the Juicebox 40 database. Car and Driver also listed the Tesla wall charger and the Grizzle E EV charger as the best of the rest. If you want to know more about how these two particular chargers were reviewed, you can find a link to the Car and Driver article in the description. As always, when looking at home charging, it's important to know the needs and capabilities of your specific EV and driving habits. Before installing any of these chargers, it is always best to consult with a certified electrician about home installation and cost. Some of these chargers might work for your specific charging needs, as well as others out there in the market. 
I will put the links to each of these chargers in the description. I want to thank you for joining us for our latest Charging 101 video. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel, as well as ring the bell to receive those notifications when new videos drops. Until next time, this is the EV Geek wishing you safe EV travels. Goodbye, everyone.